Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now June 7th of 2021. Now, one major aspect about the future of the Star Wars franchise that a lot of fans are just very excited about is of course The Mandalorian Season 3 and 4, as well as the Ahsoka Tano series and the Kenobi show. All of this banding together to create this new EU that's really going to borrow many aspects from Star Wars Legends. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Also make sure to check me out at Mike01 on Twitter if you would like to. Now, we're going deeper into what Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are planning for the future of Star Wars ahead. There's a lot at work here, there's a lot at play. You know, we do know that this November to December, a lot of major announcements are coming our way for new TV shows, movies, whatever it may be, that's going to tie directly into Jon and Dave's plan, and exactly how they're working with George Lucas and how he's handing them a lot of ideas and concepts for John and Dave to handle in a more legitimate matter. So, when we go ahead and examine what's been going on right now with Lucasfilm, we obviously know that Lucasfilm, pretty much yes, has their hands tied. They have a lot of projects in the works at the same exact time, not necessarily filming, filming at the same time, but we have a lot of shows either in pre-production, post-production, and principal photography all separately. So to lay things out, the Book of Boba Fett, is pretty much done filming, it's entering post-production. We have, of course, the Ahsoka Tano series that's beginning pre-production. We have Star Wars Andor and Kenobi that are currently filming, getting ready to actually become in that post-production phase by this fall. So, the thing that really excites me is what Jon Favreau is planning right now for the future of Star Wars. When it comes down to a particular TV series, of course, that so many fans have loved for the past couple of years now. So, what's really intriguing is that now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are actually beginning to work on the Ahsoka Tano series that is slated for a release sometime in, yes, 2023, both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are actively developing their new Star Wars projects, such as The Book of Boba Fett, and even the third and fourth season of The Mandalorian, that are being worked on back to back. However, when it comes down to a major plan by Jon Favreau, and what he is up to, it's noted that he is currently restarting a particular Star Wars TV series that has been in the works for over six months that is now getting a special treatment by Jon. Further, it's explained that currently Jon Favreau is currently rewriting many portions of the script for The Mandalorian Season 3. This is said to involve many of the early and later episodes planned for the new season of Mando that is getting a special makeover by Favreau right now to fit in many new Star Wars characters from Legends in the Mix. This is said to be separate from the plan of Mara Jade making an appearance in others as well. One major character that is a part of the rewriting process is the introduction of Kyle Katarn making his way into the third season. Not just that, however, but Jon Favreau is set to show the entire fandom, Luke Skywalker's new Jedi students and his Jedi Academy and his training temple, that will be explored with Grogu in the new season and that this is currently a big part of the rewriting process that was not a part of the story beforehand. Essentially, Favreau is rewriting the first half of the third season right now as we speak that will lead to further rewrites for many episodes that take place toward the end. Mando is actually said to be longer than 8 episodes and that they are planning to make it 12, actually in order to throw in many beloved characters. This is in no way a sign of trouble, however, for Mando, just that Favreau is making sure that this season can be the best that it can be for the fans overall. So. There is no danger with The Mandalorian Season 3. There's going to be no delays. There's not going to be any cancellations of the show or anything around those lines. That's not happening, thankfully. This is just simply Jon Favreau really trying to improve the TV series by throwing in more aspects that many of the hardcore fans really respect and enjoy. Now... The thing about Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy coming into the mix makes a whole lot more sense to me now, given that of course we saw Luke take off with Grogu at the very end of Season 2, and how Jon Favreau recently decided to throw that into the story and is actually currently writing that in makes a lot of sense. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have been in the loop, but Mando Season 3 is said to have quite a significant time jump, roughly a couple of years after Season 2. 
giving us the progress of Grogu during his time with Luke Skywalker, and essentially what's going to be happening between all of these fan favorite characters. Now, essentially what John and Dave have said before in the past is that Mando season three and four, the force will be strong with them. All right, those are their exact words. And that goes to kind of just show us that there is a major sign that it ties directly into all of this, that these two seasons are going to be heavy on the Force-related characters. We're talking about Kyle Katarn, Ahsoka Tano, Mara Jade, Luke Skywalker, Grogu, and others out there. Now, I understand this show is all about Din Jaren, but we also got to remember what Jon Favreau uses The Mandalorian for. He uses this show as a foundation to create other TV shows. Basically, The Mandalorian is the foundation of Star Wars TV shows, if that makes a lot of sense to you guys. This is going to be the foundation of new Star Wars shows that feature many of the fan favorite characters that fit into that post-return of the Jedi era or a little bit before. Now, obviously, John is trying to make sure that this new season can really be the best that it can be. They are absolutely trying to push for a 2022 release. That's their main goal, that is their aim. They're trying to get this thing out by the end of next year. Some fans out there believe that it's not gonna happen, that it's gonna be pushed until 2023. We will have to wait and see because next year we got Star Wars Andor, we've got some other TV shows coming our way. It's gonna be very interesting on if Disney really wants to overproduce TV shows to come out next year or spread them more apart. And we're gonna be learning more about the roadmap this fall. I don't know if you guys knew, but by this fall, we're gonna get a nice large timeline that goes all the way into at least the mid 2020s that's gonna show us all of the TV shows and movies and their release dates and exactly how they correspond with other TV shows and movies and their connections to all of that. So looking forward to that updated roadmap by this fall. You guys may recall that we got the roadmap for the movies quite a number of years ago. They're basically gonna be doing the same thing now for a mixture of both movies and TV shows to come to really give the fans a rough idea of how these shows connect to each other and exactly when they will be coming out. I wanna also focus on another thing that Jon Favreau is actually said to be rewriting is that he is actually tapping more into the origin story of Din Jaren. That's also another major component, a part of this rewriting process for The Mandalorian season three. Like I say, guys, The Book of Boba Fett, it looks like it's going to be a hit. Robert Rodriguez is going to do an amazing job. I have full faith in him. So I suggest that you guys go ahead and please check out some of his movies, Once Upon a Time in Mexico, Desperado, and others out there. Because this guy's very talented. If you guys want that Boba Fett-esque type of action, go ahead and check those movies out. So yeah, guys, you know, let me know what you think about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.